Hi everybody, it's Lisa and we're back with another cleaning video. <sighs> yeah, this is the oven door. <laughs> I told you it was terrible. I hate to clean the oven. I hate it, I hate it. I have a self-cleaning oven, but when you use that option on this oven, it is it's toxic so I try to do it when no one is really at home uh, I do it when I'm awake because this oven gets very very hot when it happens and um, I have to open the kitchen windows because like I said it is bad the smell and everything and I'm sure that's because it's working hard to get all the gunk cleaned out of there but even when I use the self-cleaning option, this door does not get clean. It might take off some of the big chunks and stuff, but it doesn't really get it clean. So I like to clean this and then do my self-cleaning option. So I'm going to show you my supplies real quick, and then I will show you a close-up of this door. Ugh. So what I need just to scrub this off for the time being is a pair of gloves, some Brillo pads, and a bowl of hot water. So I'm going to come around and give you a close-up of this oven door. Be prepared. It's and when you see it up close, have a trash can or something you know, close, just in case you guys have a weak stomach. Because <laughs> I'm not lying. I hate to clean the oven. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Are you ready? Uh, let's get you a little. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous showing you guys this. Do you see that? Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's my oven door. Okay, I'm not going to focus too much on it because I don't want to scare you guys too awful much. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry about the jerkiness. I'm still learning how to do a tripod. Yeah. Okay. And you guys, yeah, you're crooked. Like I said, I'm still tr learning at this camera tripod thing, okay? There we go. I think half the time I spend on my cleaning videos is getting my camera and lighting all situated. <laughs> uh, so, you know, if you guys have an oven door like this, stop this video, go grab your gloves, your Brillo pads, because everybody's got Brillo pads usually, or a scrubby brush with some dish soap, baking soda, whatever your choice of cleaning is, and we'll clean our stoves, stove uh, doors together, okay? <laughs> so I'm just going to dip my first pad in the water, and I'm just going to scrub. Now, what I like to do is give it, you know, like a light scrub first, and then I'll let it sit, oh, probably about 15 minutes. I'll set my timer, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and give the soap in this Brillo pad time to kind of eat away at the big chunks. During that 15 minutes, I'll go and do a load of laundry, I'll sit down and answer some emails, I'll make a phone call if I need to. You know, I, I just do something like that. My first uh, time scrubbing, 
I will use this one, in, this one Brillo pad until it's just wasted. And that's when I will, you know, stop, let it soak in for a little bit, go do my 15 minutes of something else, and then I'll get out my fresh Brillo pad and get stuff that is still stuck on. Okay, this Brillo pad is done. It's done for, it's, it's gross. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll just leave that there. At this moment, I'm gonna pause you guys. We'll set our timer for about 15 minutes. Let this kind of soak, get nice and soft. Let all the gunky get nice and soft. We'll come back, wipe it off, and see what needs to be done. So, I'm going to pause you, rinse my gloves off, look, and we'll be back in 15 minutes, okay? Okay, everybody, the timer went off. During my 15 minutes of soap time, I thought to myself, I bet this stove could use some comment along with the Brillo pad. So I just got out my Comet Pure Home. Uh, it's a non-abrasive powder, scratch-free. I got this one on holler.com. I'm not sure if you can get it uh, anywhere else. I haven't looked personally, but you probably could. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna get a wet washcloth or not washcloth just a, a rag that I don't care about and I'm gonna rinse off this first layer I want this rag to be kind of wet I'm gonna rinse off the first layer from my Brillo pad and see what I have left to scrub now I'm not sure if you guys can see this but it took off quite a bit but it's still very, very dirty. So we're gonna get this all nice and wet. And yeah, I think this time we're gonna try a little bit of Comet and see if that helps loosen that up a bit. I'm gonna get my clean Brillo pad that I had, get it wet and start scrubbing again. scrubbing I am putting a little bit more power in my scrub uh, I have a lot of baked on drips and grease and gook and it's gonna take more than just one soap time Ugh, yeah Ugh. if any of you have an oven door that's like this one right now you'll understand my pain oh boy Okay, huh. soap time again. I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes again. Go and do some other chores around the house and come back and we'll see how well we've done. <laughs> so, let's set our timers, rinse our gloves, and I think I'm gonna get another Brillo pad, yeah. So, set your timers. Okay, everybody, the timers went off and kind of brought you in a little bit closer. During my 15 minutes, I got fresh water in my bowl, rinsed out my rag, and now we're going to wipe this off to see just how much of this gunk actually came off. Well, 
Not as much as I would have liked, but it's progress. <clears throat> it is getting there. But we're going to have to do another scrub and wait for 15 minutes again. But that's okay. Um, I was the one who let this stove get this bad. Scott was the one who let this stove get so bad. Twyla was the one. But guess what? It's my turn to clean it. <laughs> so that's the way it goes. It's got to be done. You know, regardless of how many times it's got to be scrubbed and soaked and scrubbed again, we're going to get this oven door clean. It's looking better than it was though. I will admit that. It is looking better than it was. So while I was waiting for my 15 minutes, I got two more clean Brillo pads. And I, I liked using the Comet on it. Ugh, I got gunk on my, on my Comet. <laughs> so we are going to use this. This is a good idea. So, are you ready? Let's do some more scrubbing. Okay, I think we're ready for about 15 minutes more of soaking. Uh, this Brillo pad is a goner. Now, some of you may be saying, why not just scrub it? and get it done. You know, why let it sit for 15 minutes to scrub, scrub, scrub? Well, if you're like me, um, you do have other chores in the house that require attention. You also, um, your hands may hurt like mine do. Your arms may hurt and you just need to take a break. And there is nothing wrong with letting your cleaner do its job getting that you know soaking into those spots that are hard to scrub off let it have a good soak and who knows you might be surprised then when you come back in 15 minutes you may not have to do another scrub I have to do multiple scrubs on this one and multiple soaks because I let it get this bad off so we're going to pause again, do our 15 minute soak, and I really think I might have to do another scrub, okay? All right, everybody, let's rinse our gloves, take a 15 minute break, get a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and relax, fold a load of laundry. I think I'm going to go watch a short YouTube video while I am letting it soak. <laughs> so I'll see you back in 15 minutes. Okay, everybody, the timer went off. I watched a little bit of a YouTube video. And now I am, oh, and I also got some fresh water. So I'm gonna rinse off this and see how much more scrubbing I have to do. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do it one more time. Yep, it needs one more time, at the very least. So, get out a new Brillo pad and get to scrubbing.
done all the scrubbing I'm going to do. Is it perfect? No. Do I still have spots on it? Yes, I do. But quite frankly, I hate cleaning the oven. <laughs> So now I'm going to get my all-purpose spray, give it a good spray, and wipe it down. So let me get that out from under the sink. And once again, I'm just using my Nature's Power multi-surface multi cleaner uh, citrus scent, and it is eco-safe. Now, I don't necessarily buy eco-safe items, but, you know, that one I did get. <laughs> now, this is a self-cleaning oven. But like I said, it just does not seem to get the glass on the door clean. It just seems to make it more baked on. I'm not real concerned about the trim around the glass because it does typically come off. But now the glass itself, I do not know why, but everyone I know that has a self cleaner they have the same problem with the glass not coming clean. Ugh. So I just want to wipe the sides, make sure I got all the comment off of it. Okay, now I'm going to take off these dirty gloves and give you guys a kind of a close up shot of it. All right, now you're seeing the reflection of everything. You know, my floor and all that. But for the most part, it is clean. Now, yeah, I do have some more, oh, you know, like right along the edges. See those little brown spots? I don't think you're gonna be able to focus. But, you know, like I said, for the most part, it's clean. It's cleaner than it was. <sighs> so, that's my oven. That's my dirty, dirty oven. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah! And yeah, lots of you may be saying, why didn't you just scrub it and get it over with? Why did you take the 15 minute breaks that you took and everything like that? <sighs> Uh, my hands hurt. A lot of you know that. I have arthritis pretty bad in my hands. So, taking the 15 minutes, it rejuvenates me. It gives my hands a break. And it also gives the cleaner a little bit of, of time to do its job. That's the job of your cleaner, to clean things. And it's totally my fault that that oven door got that way. I never, ever, ever should have let it happen. So you think, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna write myself a little note and put it right on my utensil container where I always reach for the big spoons and spatulas and stuff. I'm gonna make that post-it note and said, if you use the oven, wipe off the door after it's cooled. And I think I'm gonna to try to start practicing that um, every time I use the oven so that hopefully I won't have to spend, you know, like two hours scrubbing that glass. <laughs> so I'm gonna get off of here, everybody. Um, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I love to hear from each and every one of you. And yeah, sorry it was so gross, but that's what happens when you don't clean your oven door. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.